What we do know is that pregnant moms pass these toxins on to the fetus. You can bet that my mother, 50 years ago plus, had a much lower concentration of all of these chemicals that are present in women today. Right. It's okay. just getting it's getting worse in society. I went to medical school. The greatest breakthrough was birth control pills. Today we have fertility clinics. <laughs> never had that when I right. went to medical school. We never heard of ADD and ADHD. The autism rates are higher. Children with leukemia, brain cancer, all of these things happening. What can we do about it? What we can do is make an understanding, a complete understanding, that we have to give kids a clear beginning. That is, the population that we have to get the message to and we have to bring products to to help them detoxify is that group of people who are going to give birth to the next generation. Childbearing age women, yeah. College kids, Clearly. young adults. Yeah, it's important to take care of people who are older and middle age as well. Well, but that's but, the, that's the thing. You, you, you've raised some fantastic points, and I want to just remind the listeners that you're listening to an interview with Dr. Stuart Lonke, the author of Invisible Killers. His website is invisiblekillers.com. We're going to continue this interview here on the Alex Jones Show. And, in fact, if you're interested, if you'd like to call in and maybe ask a question of Dr. Lonke, we're going to open up the phones at 800-259-9231 so you can call in after this upcoming break. But you mentioned, Dr. Lonke, the correlation between lead presence in bone and tissues and violent crime or at least incarceration for crimes. This brings me to the psychological and behavioral component of these of exposure to these heavy metals. This is what interests me in particular. Well, it's, do, a very, it's a big it's a big factor. Lead and mercury are the two. You know the the hatters. You ever hear of the Mad Hatter? You sure. Know, I'm sure your listeners are aware of the fact that's because they lined felt hats with mercury in the old days, and and the hatters used to lick their brushes. That yeah. was mad as a hatter. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll drive you insane. But this is my question: Do you think that at least some portion of the insanity that we see across modern culture today is caused by this exposure to, to heavy metals. Undoubtedly. I, I, there, is, there is not one ounce of scientific doubt in my mind. I think that it is one of the factors. What I want the listeners to understand is it's not the only factor. Sure. There are many factors that go into it. But if you can remove, just think about this, if we can remove this, this veil, take this veil away from all of what's going on in society today, behavioral abnormalities, medical abnormalities, the obesity epidemic, obesity in kids. Now, maybe your listeners will understand if you're born with all of these chemicals that are hormone emulators and stack the deck against you, metabolizing glucose normally, well, why wouldn't these kids get diabetes earlier? Why wouldn't yeah. they have a higher incidence? Well, and why wouldn't our prisons be filled with, with criminals? And doesn't this call into question the entire so-called criminal justice system? If punishing people for their, quote, behavior by throwing them in prison without treating their, some of what might, might be the causes, chemicals or metals poisoning, isn't that a completely incomplete and, in fact, an unjust system of justice? Yes, but I think that the, the legal system, like the polit political system, are very, very difficult places to crack. I think we have to do this as a grassroots movement of education of young people, all right, Dr. Lonke, we got we to go to break. I'm sorry to cut you off. Please stay with us, though. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes with more from Dr. Stuart Lonke here on the Alex Jones Show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We are back on this November 23rd, the day before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. This is Mike, Ale Mike Adams <laughs> filling in for the, the Alex Jones Show here in uh, tripping up my words just a little bit, but I hope you're enjoying the show. We are interviewing Dr. Stuart Lonke, who is an expert in internal medicine and toxicology, and he was mentioning some of the food sources. Uh, he mentioned a lot of people eating sushi. Now, I don't know about you, Dr. Lonke. I don't eat sushi. I, I only eat fire-bombed turkeys airdropped into vats of boiling oil. That, well, that is my diet. Uh, it's DHS compliant. See, I, I, what I think, and I think I'm, I'm making, I should make people... Uh, uh, be aware of the fact that it, 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 you can't get away from this. You talked about arsenic. 
you talked about arsenic and water, but how many people out there listening to your show have wood decks, have wood swing sets? Oh, pressure treated wood, yeah. All that treated wood is treated with an arsenic containing compound. Now, kids will crawl on it and you will handle the wood and then you'll make yourself a sandwich, won't you? Yeah, but, but what and most of these toxins I want the listeners to know, yes, for the women, cosmetics is a major source, but by and large, the, 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 by far and away, the largest source mode of exposure to all of these toxins is you eat them. You yeah. eat them. They're in the food, they're on your hands, and uh, they, some of them you inhale, there's no question. Some of them get through your skin, but ingestion, the GI tract, is the major introduction of most of these toxins. Well, let's talk about that. When, when you ingest these toxins, I want to get to what, in your research and your experience, what kinds of effects do you see? Are people hallucinating? Do they hear sounds of tripping birds? Do they think? Do they make bad decisions about uh, elections? I mean, what what is really the impact? <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't touch that one. But I think that uh, you know, I think they're so subtle, Mike. That's the thing that's important for people to understand. Uh, people get stomach aches more frequently. They tend to have uh, more constipation and then some diarrhea. And they, they, they tend to have nausea episodes. Uh, they tend to get muscle aches and pains. They are so nondescript. They are so nonspecific to a specific, to, to a specific exposure. You would think, oh, arsenic exposure. We're talking about arsenic toxicity. That's easy. We're talking about lead toxicity. That's easier. Those people become psychotic. They uh, they become pro they pro become problematic. But irrational behavior, unusual behavior, increased lethargy. All of these people say, "Well, he's just run down. Well, he's under a lot of stress. Well, he's ingesting arsenic." They don't say that. What they what, what percentage of the U.S. Congress do you think is suffering from heavy metals toxicity? I, <laughs> I, mean, I got to ask. Congress are suffering from a significant amount of toxicity. But, but we all are. And, and the fact is, is, it's happening imperceptibly to us. It happens generationally. It's easy. Hindsight is really 2020. And that's why when we look at the data, we look at epidemiologic data and we say it's unreasonable that the incidence of autism and behavioral deficit or, or attention deficit, and I call it behavioral deficit because it's more than just attention. Yeah. It's the whole behavior. You see these hyperactive kids, and I watch it all the time. It's very interesting. My daughter, my younger daughter, detoxed for a year before she even got pregnant, all through her pregnancy. And I watch my grandson, who's three, and his behavior contrasted with other three-year-olds. Quick, quick question, because we're almost out of time. Does your book offer people some solutions for detox? It does. It does. And, uh, and there are a handful and a growing number, and there are some extraordinarily effective ways that we can begin to detox. We need to figure out ways to bring that to people. All right. All right. We've got to go to break. Dr. Lonke, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back in one minute. I'll give you some more solutions on the other side of this break. Thank you. Stay with us. This is Mike Adams filling in for Alex Jones today here on the Alex Jones Show, Wednesday, November 22nd, 2011, the day before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there. And of course, be sure to practice caution in your kitchen. This Thanksgiving, don't set anything on fire because the firemen need to be at home with their families this Thanksgiving. They've had a rough summer of it here in Texas. Let's give them some time off. Oh, you know, along those lines, hey, don't wrap your... Christmas trees in hot lights and bad electrical wiring and then set it in the middle of your house like a firebomb. I bet I bet you we're going to get a warning from DHS about that. Don't put a Christmas tree in your house. Yeah, it's going to be an official tweet. It's another weapon of terror according to the DHS. That's my that's my prediction. They haven't done it yet. Let's not give them any ideas. They're just they're just going to ruin Christmas, aren't they? They're going to unwrap all your presents at the airport, not because there's anything dangerous in there, just because they're curious. They just want to unwrap stuff. They just want to destroy stuff. They want to get the Christmas tree out of your house, get the turkey out of your kitchen. Just make you have a really rough and tough holiday so you remember who's in charge. Right? That's what they're after. Anyway, we just fi finished a segment with Dr. Stuart Lonke, the author of Invisible Killers.
and that was my first time interviewing Dr. Lonke. I don't, I don't know him personally, but he came up as the guy to talk to about that topic. And I know we did not get to solutions yet, so I want to share some of those with you. Also, we did not get to your calls, and I apologize. The call screen system is not up here right now. We're working on that. I do intend to take some of your calls in this hour. So feel free to call in with, with some comments. Hopefully we get that working. I'm not ignoring your calls. That's, that's my message to you, I'm trying to get that up and running. But in the last segment, we talked to Dr. Lonke, who, who you know, I, I think we could talk to him for hours about the real hardcore information about heavy metals poisoning and the toxicity that is infecting the minds of the American people. And I've got a, a working theory on this, that part of the insanity that has infected America today the reason why you have presidential debates where people make no sense, why you have leadership at the executive level that is saying we need to spend a few trillion more dollars to get us out of the trillions in debt we're already in. Yeah, that's, that's kind of insane. That's pure clinical insanity if you think about it. As Gerald Salenti, I'm sure, would have a few comments about the insanity going on at MF Global today. These days, it's pretty much insane. But why is it so insane? So I asked Dr. Lonke, do you think members of Congress are suffering from heavy metals toxicity? And he said yes, and he thinks everybody is. But I bet you, if you were to go into Congress and have them subject themselves to blood tests, whew, wouldn't that be interesting? You might find some non-human DNA in the mix there, <laughs> according to David Icke, right? <laughs> but you would definitely find some heavy metals in that mix. Probably a lot of lead, a lot of arsenic, a lot of mercury. Everybody who voted for the Patriot Act is probably suffering from lead poisoning. No, I don't mean from bullets. I know what you're thinking. No, I mean from their food, from the lead in their pipes, from, from that thing, other sources of lead. Or mercury poisoning. Because their moms, let's say, that yes, they do have mothers, their moms were eating tuna fish when they were pregnant, and the mercury went through the blood and got into the developing minds of the little infant fetuses that were going to be born and someday become senators. So now they're insane. But they're in charge. That's scary. That's kind of disturbing, actually. Let's not, uh, let's not let that happen. Let's get healthy. Let's detox. And along those lines... Just from my own experience, I'm not, I'm, I, oh man, I've got a break coming up very quickly. Avoid exposure to heavy metals. Eat lots of fibrous foods. Apples contain pectin juice. A lot of vegetables, chlorella and cilantro bind to heavy metals and help carry them out of your body. So does grapefruit pectin and other natural fibers. Detox yourself. Get those heavy metals out of your body and out of your brain, and you will make better decisions as a result. We'll talk more about that on the other side of this break as we are joined by Robert Scott Bell. If you believe in this information and want to support its viral spread, go to the InfoWars store at InfoWars.com. We've got the new G.I. Joe InfoWars t-shirts. We've got the incredible ProPure gravity-fed filters available at InfoWars.com in the store. We've got a new DVD Side is under attack, the Don't Tread on Me flag. We've got all sorts of different bumper stickers to help spread the rebellion virally. It's all there, wristbands, citizen rule books in every order. Order online at InfoWars.com today. The water filters, the canteens, it's all there, InfoWars.com. <laughs> 